the most listened to radio talk show in America. Rush Limbaugh, your guiding light, your bulwark, Mr. Dependability. And we go to Yuma, Arizona. Dwayne, thank you for calling, sir. You're next. Hi, Rush. How are you? Good. Thank you. So, Rush, I just want to say that I'm going to end up voting for Trump, and I hate him. I probably never would, except for everyone that was pushing these never-Trump campaigns, like Bill, Bill Crystal and uh, Ben Shapiro and all these talking heads that, hey, heads that want us to vote their way. They can't accept that we won't take a establishment candidate. It, it's just it's, it's making me want Trump, and I don't like Trump at all. This is interesting. You don't. You, in fact, you used the word hate. Yes. You said you hate Trump. You were a cruiser. You hate Trump, but you're going to vote for Trump because you don't like what these third party types are doing. Bill Crystal and some of the others. What, what what bothers you about that? Well, I wanted Ted Cruz very badly because I wanted a conservative and a man with a good moral compass. And what we have is Donald Trump, who does whatever the wind seems to lead him to do. But he does it very effectively, and he does it with panache, and people want him because he's bold, and he will say what's on his mind. But I want someone who's grounded. And now I have these people in the uh, leadership of what seems to be the in crowd, the Beltway. They're saying we have to have, a, a, I don't know, a Romney or one of these other candidates that won't win also. And it just seems like they're trying to make sure Trump doesn't win. And that will just give it to Hillary, who I will not have. I, w I will vote for Trump happily well, over let, Hillary. Let, 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 let me interrupt you here and share with you why this is happening. I'm, I'm holding here my formerly nicotine stand finger. Excerpts from a column uh, as an interview by a Wall Street Journal columnist by the name of Brett Stevens. And the headline, Trump needs to be destroyed in November to teach Republican voters a lesson. Appearing on CNN, an opinion page editor from the Wall Street Journal left no doubt how he feels about Donald Trump, saying not only will he not vote for him, but that Trump needs to be crushed in the November election as a lesson to Republicans. Pressed by the host, Fareed Zakaria, GPS, if he was going to get behind Trump as the nominee. Conservative columnist Brett Stevens got right to the point. I most certainly will not vote for Donald Trump, Stephen began tersely. I will vote for the least left-wing opponent to Donald Trump, and I want to make a vote that makes sure he's the biggest loser in presidential history since, I don't know, Alf Landon. It's important that Donald Trump, or whatever he represents, this kind of ethnic conservatism or populism be so decisively rebuked that the Republican Party and Republican voters will forever learn their lesson that they cannot nominate somebody so manifestly unqualified to be president in any way, shape, or form. So they have to learn a lesson, perhaps the way Democrats had to learn a lesson from McGovern 1972. It's what I've always told you. As far as the elites and the established, you people are going to have to get your minds right. You're going to have to learn how big a bunch of screw-ups you are. Trump, you're going to have to have the biggest landslide defeat in history so that you finally learn never, ever again stray from what the establishment is commanding you to do. And that's guiding a lot of this never-Trumpism.